Hi guys, welcome back, Jamie. Now I know you may be wondering what the FOMO from the title means, but we'll get into that in just a bit. First, if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. Also turn on your post notifications. If you want, you can also follow me on Twitter at jaradcliffe2030 or on Instagram at jaradcliffe. And lastly, hit that like button. Hopefully I did save the best for last and you did hit that like button, but if you didn't, you can go ahead and do it now. Okay? Alright, so let's move on. Okay now, FOMO. Now, what I'm going to do is just tell you a little story before I tell you what exactly FOMO is. Because with the story, you'll be better able to tie in how FOMO affects you as an investor. So unless you're new to my channel, you know I love the stock market. I love looking on the stock market, falling it up, looking for new companies to invest in and all of these things. Alright? So today, I'm going to look at a company that I've been following for a while now and so on. And I think it best represents FOMO. The company is one that is in the insurance industry. Key insurance company. Now, to be honest, key insurance, it used to be the best performing insurance company on the stock market in terms of price at one point. But recently we have like general accident. General accident has basically overtaken them and gone on to do really well, right? Now because general accident in terms of price, they have a very good price for them going on now. So while general accident price has been going up, we can see where keys price has steadily been going down over the years or over the past few months. So, because the price of key has been going down, what Grace Kennedy did was they decided to do a takeover, right? So, they got a 15% and they put it out there that they're going to try and take over key and they want majority ownership and so on on the stock exchange. Now, by March 31st, Grace Kennedy took over key, board, everything. Um, Don Webby, the CEO of Grace, was the chairman for the board of key and all of this thing. All of this finished by March 31st. So, early April, so let's say April 1, the price for one key share was $2.50. So that's pretty much right after Grace take it over. And by mid-May, like roughly a month and a half later, we have key trading over $10. At one point, I think it went up to about $11.50. So it went up there. So it's right here now. We can see where people actually believe in Grace. So all of these investors now believe that Grace has the potential to uplift key and make it a performing company. Now, while I believe in Grace, between April and May, Grace never have the time to do anything. So in truth and in fact, the price change from $2.50 up to $11 is not really warranted. Now, what happened after that? Key released their audited financial statement. So this is the audited financial statement for December 2019. And on that audited financial, Key made a loss of like 280 million, right? No, this is mid May they released this. I recently they released the quarterly um, financials. And in this quarterly financial, they make over 350 million in loss again. So, why, why is the price of key at $10? I don't know. Somebody need to tell me if there's something I am missing. Right? So, this is right where we can see where FOMO comes in. No, FOMO is a fear of missing out. Now, what I think happened to a lot of investors is because Grace Kennedy take it over, they're in their minds, they're saying that, hey, you know, so since Grace Kennedy take over key, seems like key have a whole heap of potential though. So, here what? Let me jump in on it and see if I can make a money too from owning some key shares. Don't get me wrong, still, you know, a lot of persons made a money off the key shares because if you bought your key share, April 1 when it was for $2.50 when Grace Kennedy just took over and you sell out at $10. I would have money that you make it just what four times. You understand me? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a graph. The graph of how the key price go up and how it <coughs> come back down on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. I have my laptop set up right there. So I'm just gonna go over to my laptop now and show you that. Okay? Alright, so right here we're on the Jamaica Stock Exchange website, right? 
So this is the page for key. So you see the instrument summary for key. Now, this right here, the line chart, I don't really like using the line chart when I'm actually looking at stocks. I prefer to use a candlestick. We're looking at a three month candlestick chart to see how the price for key has moved over the past few months. Now, if you look right here, right here we see on March 4th, where key opened and closed for three dollars. One, somebody bought one share. Don't know what they were doing right there. But then, look at this for March, key pretty much basically flat. It's all two dollars right here, all two dollars until April 7th. So you see, look, you see, April 3rd, $3 for key. They sold 20,000 units. March 30, $2.03. Now, as I said, Grace took over key the 31st. They released that the 31st, but you know more than likely they did it before. But that was when they released it. So April 7th, somebody sold right here for a high of $3.85. So you see, right here, right here. Now, April 23rd, first time we see key going to $5, where he got to $4.90, but then look here, May 7th, $11.50. Now, you can tell me, after all that I have said about key, how key reached $11.50 right here. So, so, a lot of persons just coming into key to see what they can make because Grace is taking it over, and they are pretty much happy with Grace as a company and believe Grace will turn it around. Now, whenever you have sellers, you have buyers. Now, if I was one of the sellers right here and I sold my key share for $11.15, I'd be smiling all the way to the bank. But look at this on the opposite side. If I bought my key share right here, so $11.50. Now, today's, this one is for me, seven. Now, when we move down the chart, if you notice, you see the chart start going down right here. Look at it going down. And this is the last one right here. June 2nd. Tuesday, June 2nd. Key open for $4.50 and it closed at $4.78 or $0.79. Now, can you imagine? Between May 7th and the 2nd of June, you basically lose more than 50% of your money. That kind of hard to stomach still for anybody. Now, what this goes to show is, you know, guys, what I believe in, you should always check the financials for whatever company you're going to invest in. Yes, I agree that with Grace behind them, Key has a lot of potential. They also have access to a lot of capital. But Grace Kennedy, just like me and you, they're in this to make money. I know they're not going to be taking up their money and just putting it into Key and to wipe out all these losses and hope that they start turning a profit soon. No, that makes no sense. I wouldn't do that as an investor. Key will have to stand on its own and make its own money at the end of the day. So, basically, what I'm trying to say to you guys is, not because you see everybody running to a stock, and pushing up the prices, mean that you should run along with them, all right? Because, you see, at the end of the day, if everybody running towards a stock, Chances are not really a lot of money to be made from the stock because normally when people start moving is when all of the information is on the public domain where everybody knows everything. So it's not valuable anymore. So you would have to pretty much see key um, from the start. So like once you heard GK is going to buy it all, then you say, all right, you know, probably a testing have potential here. So you buy a piece of it then when it's for like $2 or something at the time. At the time, if you bought it before the stampede to ten dollars, and you sell out at ten dollars, and you pretty much double up and triple up your money, then you can probably buy some more now, seeing as it's where four point five dollars right here. So you can maybe get some more. But end of the day, people, it's the herd mentality. Don't work with investing. You know, I'm gonna make the money like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on your post notification. I'm also going out on a limb because if you reach this far, I can guarantee you like the video. So if you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up. Plus, if you're already subscribed and you're not getting the notifications when I upload my video, turn on your post notifications. All right, guys? Now, as always, 
Anytime you're investing in anything at all, make sure you get your own information. You can't just go ahead and take my word for it because I can be looking at it from a biased view. Probably I just don't like it. That's why I'm pretty much doing this video. But you can like it. You may be willing to pay $10 at the end of the day because you're saying that who? Probably next month they're going back up to 15 Who knows? But it's all up to you. Make sure you do your own research, all right? Bye-bye.